Hey everyone, welcome back. It's Monday, fresh new start to the week. It's 4-19 April 19th here, 2021. And hey, guess what? We've, I don't know, I feel like it's been another slow day. April to me has been this ever-growing slow month. Started off with an awesome bang on the first day. I think it was Friday uh, was the first day of the month for April. And uh, uh, had a great day. I think I had like I was up seventeen hundred bucks just for that day. And I've been struggling ever since then. I feel like the market slowed down and um, just trying to trying to trade every day, but it doesn't seem like there's very many opportunities. Anyways, today I'm up green. Um, I am up two hundred and sixty one dollars today, which is really not much, but it's something and it's green so i guess i'll be happy with it um given that i haven't seen a ton of great opportunities in the small cap world so uh let's break down today's recap i'll show you what i traded so dive, diving right into it up 261 bucks uh let me show you my chart my progression for today so today started off in the green i never went red which was a good thing that's always always a good thing uh, when you know when I go red, I you, you get these feelings of um, uh, regret and revenge trading, and you're trying to get back to green, which is never good. So, always being in the green um, throughout the day is is always a a really solid thing. I, I obviously enjoy that feeling, and it's good. So, anyways, I started first trade was up sixty nine bucks, and just. Every little bit I did, I did a bunch of scalp trades and worked my way all the way up to 333, then down to 313, up to 334, and then my last trade was a bad one, uh, and that's where I decided to leave the day um, up 261 bucks. So that's where I'm sitting for Monday. So I did all my trading on AMBO, and I'll show you my last trade I did have one more trade. It was on a different stock. It was CMMB, uh, which I shouldn't have gotten into. And uh, I'll show you what went, went on with that. So let's hop over to AMBO. There we go. Um, all right. So for this one, first trade, I actually had two. I bought in twice here at 282 and 275 at 951. So let's see. This. Yeah. So what I was looking at here on this chart here for AMBO, this was kind of one of the uh, one of one of the leading uh, gappers in the stock market today. And the reason I like this one is because it was a great price. So it's actually really cheap, um, two fifty one. Um, but I, I feel like with the cheaper stocks, they have the bigger potential to to run. Um, run higher um, when something's already expensive sometimes it doesn't typically doesn't have as much uh, opportunity to to um, ramp up as fast or as quickly so anyways I was looking at this chart and I did not trade this first move up I let it go I'm glad I did because it rolled over went right back down and it eventually spiked back up, and that's where I got interested because I thought to myself here at 287, if it looks like it wants to break this area of 287, 289, um, we could go on to a nice higher move. So I want to be there for that. So anyways, I hopped in, got in at 282, and uh, saw some hesitation, um, but then decided to just um, buy in just a, a touch lower for the next leg higher and so I got to uh, bought in at 275 and that was great because I eventually ended up selling at um, I actually sold at 282 so for that first batch it was actually break even but um it was a you know small little move there a little something and eventually rolled over again so um yeah I traded that that was up I was up 69 bucks on that and then that's when I just decided to keep trading this thing. And so I had a bunch of different trades on it. Uh, if we look at the next one, 
bought it in at 288 and told, sold at two, uh, 296. 288. Yeah, I think it was on this move that I capitalized on that. Let me see where I sold. Uh, 296 at 955. Yep, right there. Um, yeah, so that was a good one. Um, got at 288 and sold at 296. So anyways, that was kind of um, what it was really about today for me is watching this line of resistance and trying to get in in these areas where it would have a pullback and look for kind of the next leg higher. Unfortunately, it, it couldn't push through this area for the first three goes. You can see it went up the first round, faded, went up the second round, broke it, but only went up to 296, and faded again, and then consolidated, started curling back up, and hit 288, and just failed again. So it wanted to move, but it just couldn't break it. Eventually, we had a big red candle, it consolidated, uh, came back up, started testing that area again, and eventually it broke out, which was great. And then... After that breakout, a nice, you know, big red candle, but a quick turnaround on it. And that when it's, that's when it broke its new high. Um, so, anyways, yeah, this was really the only one in play for me today. And uh, I tried to do as much as I could on it um, as far as getting in as many trades as I could. But felt like it was just a little limited. It, it was hitting some resistance and it feel it felt like it didn't want to really explode so i did what i could and, and that's where i left it after that i really didn't trade it and then um last trade of the day here i switched on over to c m b and i think this was more kind of out of just desperation i did see this one starting to move the problem was that there was not much volume behind it so let me know if you got into this trade at all. Uh, for me, it was not a good one, and I just, I should have avoided it, but I got in. Once again, I think it was just a little bit of desperation, just boredom, wanting to um, put some more money on the table today. Uh, first trade, let's see, at 12.45. Yeah, where I got interested, was when I saw this, I really didn't <clears throat> really watching it until I, the, this green candle spiked up and it went up higher on the list. And so I checked it out and saw it was moving up and looked at this and thought, okay, this might be a great opportunity. Volume is starting to build. Um, but at the time there was, there was not much volume at all prior to that. And so it hit, went up, hit this peak of 46 and I decided to buy in on this, this quick flash down, which I thought was a great idea and hindsight really wasn't. Uh, I got in at 43, which was actually what I thought was gonna be a decent price because um, we had a huge you know, drop and I figured it would, it would, it would happen so fast, I figured it would have recovered at least a little bit when we got an, when we got a nice pop out of it. So I bought it in twice. I actually got it in at 43.42 and then 43.02. Um, and then at that point, I was waiting for it to break this 43 area and we couldn't get it. I waited and waited, which could have been a real bad idea. Um, but we did get this consolidation and I just told myself it's kind of now or never. And I'm glad I went with that and I ended up just selling for a loss. Up here at, I got rid of it at 42, right here. Right before we hit this real big downfall. And if I would have stayed put for that, um, stayed put longer, I would I would definitely be red today. So I'm just glad I dumped it because the volume wasn't there. It wasn't, um, I was really hoping we'd get a push through that 42, 50 area, but we didn't. I, I just, there wasn't enough volume. I don't think there was enough traders in it. And we couldn't get the move higher. So really glad I sold it. Uh, it was almost a $100 loss or something, I think. No, not that bad. But uh, must have been, I don't know, 70 bucks or something. Anyways, 
that's where I just decided to throw in the towel. Nothing else to trade. I did I did sit um sit the rest of the day in the market, uh just looking for something else, but nothing else popped up, so that's it for now. And um yeah, I just feel like let me know if you feel like the market is still slow. I've been thinking that we're gonna get a turnaround here any day, and I still think we will, but to me it feels kinda long overdue. It's felt pretty stale for a while. I mean, we did have that action on AMBO, but to me, it just wasn't enough follow through. So, you know, not much there. But uh, anyways, you know, I'm ready to do another recap for tomorrow. I'm, I'm hoping tomorrow's a nice big momentum day, but uh, who knows? It might be a slow day once again so we'll see i want to hear from you guys i want to know if you're green today how your april is going i want to know your progress for april so if you look at mine i'm disappointed with april um you know i'm march was decent i was up uh six thousand bucks pretty much six thousand bucks for march and april ugh, started out like i said started off with a bang but everything else has been slow. I've had three days where I've had no trades, which is kind of rare. And uh, everything else has been, seems real slow. And I had a pretty bad day on the 6th, which was, I was down 534 bucks. So could have been worse, but I'm glad I threw in the towel on that day. Could have been way worse. So I managed some risk on that, but um, yeah, that's that's kind of it for now, guys. I want to know how your April's going. Is it similar to mine? Did you do well in March? And is April not looking as good? Because that's how my status is going right now. Uh, we could have a nice turnaround. Who knows? But anyways, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know if you're green today. If you're red, uh, post it below. Let me know what you traded. And I couldn't find anything else uh, to trade other than AMB AMBO. So let me know what you traded in the small cap world. Let me know if it was uh, worthwhile. So that's it for now. And we'll catch you tomorrow on Tuesday.